I first heard about the PicoSpin NMR when I was online and all of a sudden this ad popped up for PicoSpin 45 and I, I was like, this cannot be true. Uh, this can't be true that there is an NMR that is this small and um, can actually deliver some good robust spectra. So when I checked out the specs of this instrument, I was really excited and then I heard of another school in the metro area ordering one. Um, so that kind of gave me the confidence that this was for real. We are a primary undergraduate institution and quite often when in, uh, institutions like us acquire instruments that are very expensive, all of a sudden the temptation becomes to not allow every student to actually touch the instrument. The um, PicoSpin NMR is different because it is robust and I routinely let our sophomore organic students put in their own samples. There is no, you have to be um, a chem major and a fourth year student in order to use this instrument. Well, we don't have a whole lot of space for any kind of analytical instrumentation. And the size of this instrument works with our space um, availability very, very well. The cost of this instrument is a fraction. I mean, a literally one, like a 10% fraction of what you would expect to pay um, for a standard NMR. Throw in the helium costs, throw in the maintenance costs, and all of a sudden these savings become a whole lot more significant. The average time to acquire a spectrum and work up the data is about 10 minutes maximum for um, each pair, so it's quite reasonable to get through the entire lab section in um, a single lab period. I don't, I'm not ready to sacrifice cost. I like this cost. There's a lot of professors out there that I've talked to that can afford this cost, and this cost represents three years of somebody's capital budget. And with the higher cost of college education in the United States right now, this is something that we really all should be taking a good look at.